Welcome to a Here's a New Earth Hero Spotlight featuring Warchief. This intelligence hero is a fast-moving semi-carry and ganker with an awesome teamfight presence. Using his invulnerable spirit form, he can harass opponents and choose to capitalize on moments where he gains the upper hand very quickly. Let's take a look at his iconic kit. His Q is Sacred Totems. On activation, Wartroof instantly drops a set of totems at his feet, which lasts for 30 seconds or until destroyed. Ability level changes what kind of totems are dropped, each of which has different effects. The level 1 totem is Flame Totem. Every second it spits magic damage at the weakest nearby enemy, maxing out at 4 times on any individual target. Level 2 is Life Totem. Healing in short bursts, every second the weakest nearby ally can be healed up to 4 times. Level 3 is Shock Totem. Stunning the weakest nearby enemy hero for 1 second after a 2 second delay. And level 4 allows a Shock Totem to stun a second enemy hero in the vicinity. Warchief's W is Spirit Walk. Channeling in place, Warchief receives 50% damage reduction as he summons a fast moving, invulnerable spirit with unit and tree walking. Controlling the spirit for up to 3 seconds as his body remains channeling, he deals a burst of magic damage to every enemy hero he touches while crippling their movement speed. Activating Spirit Walk again ends the channel early, teleporting Wartreef to the location of his spirit. Power of the Elders is Wartreef's passive. It gives a hefty bonus of magic damage as a multiplier of his intelligence stat to his first attack every few seconds. This synergizes well with using Spirit Walk for ganking, allowing him to dash and teleport right to his target, smacking them for extra damage after slowing them down with his spirit form. Finally, Wartreef's ultimate is Warcry. On activation, he gains a wide-reaching aura that buffs his allies and himself with bonus move speed, mana regen, and faster cooldown refresh rates for 12 seconds. For allies, cooldowns were set 2, 2.5, and, and 3 times as fast, and for Warchief himself, they were set 4 times faster at all levels. Warcry will max out cooldown reduction at 3 seconds for any ally, so heroes with already incredibly short cooldowns won't get an unusual large benefit. Keep in mind that Warcry reduces both item and ability cooldowns, but does not reduce ultimate ability cooldowns. Now let's take a look at some gameplay scenarios and how his skill set all comes together. Here we see Warchief initiating on Chipper with his Spirit Walk and Power of the Elder passive ready to go. Activating Sacred Totems as well causes Chipper to retreat back to the tower. However, Warcry activation results in everything being up again quickly, including Spirit Walk and Sacred Totems to dive and finish the job. As a fight is ready to break out, Warchief jumps in with Spirit Walk and activates his Shrunken Head immediately. Then using Warcry, he is able to put a second set of totems down which not only CC the enemy, but also heal himself and teammates effectively. Using Spirit Walk mid-fight also tanks him up a bit, helping to stay alive. The reduced cooldown for teammates also allows Rift Walker to get a second Lake Sheepstick off, securing the fight in the end. As for items, as you may expect, Warchief is very effective with activatable items due to his Warcry cooldown reduction. So for early game, Sorcery Boots and Tablet of Command will be very useful. In the mid to late game, working on Sheepstick and Hellflower also provide plenty of intelligence to enhance Power of the Elder's attacks. We hope you enjoyed this Heroes of New Earth Heroes Spotlight featuring Warchief. We look forward to seeing you on the battlefield.